Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, I'm glad you could join us today. We've got with us Bill Jordan, our boom aficionado. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of new ways to introduce you. It's just You're just a great guy. I mean, how do we... Bill Jordan, how are you? <laughs> so a boom aficionado. So the, the deal on this is, yeah, I'm kind of the... Is a purveyor a good word? Inventor, yeah. whatever you want to say, uh, uh, you know... I'm sort creator. Of the, You're the creator uh, of Embrace creator the Boom. Creator of the Embrace the Boom movement, and that is for baby boomers to embrace where you are in life and still strive to get better and don't just be holding a place and don't just be running out the clock. And I still think some of our best days ever are ahead of us, but we get a vote in that. Absolutely. And, you know, so and, that, and, and we have to celebrate it. Mm. Celebrate your second act. We have to celebrate it, and I think part of that, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take this and segue into as we have talked before, and everybody obviously, uh, with the COVID thing, with all the shutdowns, among the things that got shut down, along with everything, was hairstylists and barber shops and all that stuff, and there came to be, and it was something I, I didn't anticipate happening, was with uh, hairstylists uh, having to close down, women were finding themselves letting some of that gray out, letting out some of that silver. And I just want to be on record as telling the ladies that I love it. Yeah. And I think that women, if you, th if you look at marketing, and it's women and men, if you look at women's magazines, everything is, almost everything is fear-based covering up the gray, losing the weight, getting rid of wrinkles. We are where we are, and we can definitely take good care of ourselves and stuff like that. But the women I have seen online and my own wife starting to let that silver just shine through, man, I find it beautiful. And I think it goes hand in hand also because maybe of marketing, and I think women sometimes are their own worst enemies, is trying to, you know, you're getting dressed up. Are you getting dressed up for your husband? Or are you getting dressed up for everybody else you're going to be seeing? Um, I think letting go of some of that insecurity about turning gray is very sexy in itself is because you're showing a newfound confidence in who you really are. So not only do I love the silver slash gray look, I love the confidence that comes when you wear it and own it. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, quite, quite, uh, quite a, a good point. And I, you know, I was thinking as you were talking about women going gray, men have gone gray forever. Um, I can remember, even as a kid, they would say if a guy had white in his temples, he was distinguished, right? But right. women had to color their hair. Well, there are a lot of guys who do color their hair, and there are a lot of guys who wear very bad hair pieces. There's some good ones. My wife, we got a, we got this thing. We're watching television or something, or if we're out and about, she's good. Like her department is spotting the fake boobs, and my job is spotting bad hair pieces. <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm good at spotting. I'm really good at spotting a, a, a bad hair piece, and she's good. You know, those are fake, and I'm like, well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. I've kind of lost my train of thought. Okay, we're going to help you out here a little bit, Jeff, because uh, thankfully uh, we still have enough hair. Among, between the three of us, we probably have a full head of hair. Okay, so you just combine it all. What I was say was this guy's dyeing their hair that becomes an age where, you know, with the wrinkles or whatever you've got going on, and you see some guy with jet black hair, it's just, it doesn't look right, guys. Right. It just does. I mean, you yeah. do your own thing. I'm just, that's for me. Uh, I kiddingly posted the other day that I, I went by Target. I was in Target and went down the guy's aisle and there was some, uh, you know, shampoo and hair color. And it was like a light brown. And I thought, what do you think? Just for fun? Just for COVID? Just <laughs> what's what? And I had several people say, oh, man, you got to do it. You got to do it. And it's like, yeah, that's it would be funny, but it's just really not me. I just I like to kind of be who I am. So being gray, being I would love to have a full head of gray hair. Uh, 
but I don't. Uh, but I am what I am. And I'm not even gray anymore. I've, I've come to realize that I went past the gray, past the silver. I'm just now pure white, man. I'm pure as the driven snow as far as what hair I've got left. So, well, uh, the, as a, Using the phrase pure as the driven snow, okay, that's going to be for another episode. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a story. But, but um, also there's um, uh, uh, going bald, totally. Uh, shaving your head. It, sure. Shaving your head from whatever little is left out there. And quite frankly, that I think looks pretty good on some young. It's made old men look better now that young men have adopted it. So well, I did the that's last a possibility if, if some of this goes away, you know, uh, that might be uh, uh, on my agenda. I did that. I did that last summer right before we went to the beach. I took the guard off my clippers and set it on, I don't know if it was the shortest setting or the longest with just like no guard on it. And I made everything, facial hair, top of my head, side, everything the same length. I was kind of going for the Jason, if you know who Jason Statham, the actor is, I was going for yeah. that look except for the handsome. So that's the look I was going for. <laughs> my wife, my Marianne, told me that she really liked that look, but she tells me that w whether I like grow the Van Dyke or whether I'm clean shaven, when my hair gets a little long and it gets a little shaggy, she may tell me, you know, you might need to get a haircut or let me trim the back or something like that. But she normally is uh, pretty good with whatever I want to yeah. try. <laughs> Sometimes it's just out of boredom. I think I'm going to also it likes to, I, I like to make my parole officer nervous. So I like to change up my look every day. <laughs> you know, Bill, I have a couple of friends. This is a, a number of years ago since I'm well past that age, but I had a couple of friends who in their 50s were starting to go gray, men, and they were worried about ageism. They were worried about, will people hire me because I'm the old guy, right? And so they colored their hair, and it, you know, it wasn't too bad. You didn't, it wasn't like looking at a bad rug on somebody, um, but I, I never did that, and I always thought to myself that they might have been, well, they had a good point. There certainly is ageism out there. Um, that they might have been a little bit too fearful of it. Uh, and here's the other side of it. Women have experienced that for, for eons. And yes. that's probably why they uh, went and colored their hair to the degree that they did, maybe less so now, you know. Um, after all, you, you can get gray. I got gray in my beard at 30, uh, which is why I grew the beard the first time. So... Uh, Sometimes prematurely gray. I mean, there really is a prematurely gray, although I argue that I'm prematurely gray. Uh, but sometimes it really can be a negative, and, and coloring your hair might be a good idea. Uh, Being, I, you know, I'm sure that's an individual thing. For me, it really never was an option. And, and the gist of what I want to get, you know, if any female are watching this, I just want to let you know, I don't know a single guy, uh, and this is not a main topic of conversation with, with, with my friends and stuff, uh, but I haven't talked to a single guy who does not love the look of an older woman letting her gray and silver go. Well, don't, I, think, I, th I think that uh, what's, that most important, what's most important today is that you have uh, reintroduced and buttressed the, 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 the word silver. I think silver is, is in, uh, gray not so much as silk. Gray is old, silver is youthful. I love ah. it. Thank Good you, point. Bill. Thank you, Bill Jordan. Good point. Well, listen, it's interesting how when you get older, all of a sudden the older women look attractive. <laughs> so yeah, there is something to that. Yeah. So God there bless them with gray hair. We love them. Absolutely. So, so uh, my to to our perpetual Peter Pan, well, AKA Bill Jordan. Are there any? Final words you would like to say to all those silver foxes out there? Well, I tell you what, it, it, that's all part of embracing the boom, isn't it? It's all about living your life, forgetting your age and embracing the boom and living life to your best ability, regardless of where you are in life. And that, if that includes a few silver hairs along the way, then so be it. That's, again, my opinion. I hope you will adopt that philosophy because I think with it does come an air of confidence that maybe you have been lacking through the years. Let that silver shine. You will get confident in it. You'll be amazed at the amount of compliments you get 
from friends, family, and strangers, because I know I've done this in grocery stores. I'll just tell a woman in the line, you know, I love your hair. I just love it. And anyway, think about doing that. Adopt that, uh, that little bit of philosophy. If you'd like to follow along on my website, BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com, my 15 practices, and a few extra videos also posted, by the way, on my YouTube channel, just simply entitled Embrace the Boom. And I appreciate you guys having me back. We'll see you again soon, Bill. Thanks. Appreciate I'll, it. I'll drink to that. Who won? For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.